concern about whether it could possibly be our plan interpreted to uh, lead to troops. All right. Mr. President. Hi. Hi. How are you? Fine. Nice to see you. Good to see you. A pleasure. <coughs> Thanks for coming. Mr. Vice President. You're on. That's all right. Do that. No. Well, Bud, how you doing? All right, Mr. Chairman. We've got a long agenda. Oh, I know. Yeah. We just did. I just wanted to prepare you. We're, we're going to quarantine the beaches in Florida. That's great. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you, get no, <laughs> you get no complaints out of me. You might get some out of Georgia over there. <laughs> My son. <yeah>. Georgia. <laughs> Good to see you. Nice to see you. Well, come on. Thank you. Good to see 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 you. to govern finally, and they are under pressure, economic pressure as well as the threat of the Contras, get them to accept that offer that the Contras made uh, a month ago about uh, laying down their arms and being willing to come in and discuss a democratic uh, a negotiation to have a democratic form of government and, and uh, keep the promises that they made in the, during the revolution. That there is some chance, 
And this was why with the fourteen million dollars, small as it is, that what we have said is okay, if they'll do that, we'll be willing to declare that, that money will be used for food those with the carries. All right, we'll use that money for guns and bullets for the Congress. And all the same, and they all agree. And uh, I just received a verbal message brought back by someone from the group that he, uh, he approves of what we're doing in Central America. But we think it's worthwhile. And we want to make it plain that, no, we never contemplated uh, going down there uh, military force or anything, but we would like nothing better than the reinstitution of the revolution announced at Samosa. In the last few days, we've been here with three men. Congress means a great deal to me and I'm sure to the American people. Your recognition of our Central American problem is not merely a problem of this hemisphere, but it is a European problem as well and reflects the foresight and the insight, which all of you know is rather rare this day. Simply put, uh, I think that we as a free world cannot and must not allow the Iron Curtain to descend around Central America. And I, I know that you will be participating in a seminar this afternoon in the Dirksen Building in a conference aptly titled, How to Prevent, How to Prevent Democracy from Paris. Well, I think it, it is a worldwide task for all of us right at a time when democracy seems to be flourishing in so many places in the world. Here in our own hemisphere in Latin America, uh, never has there been such a high proportion of Americans living in democracy or in countries that are tending very definitely toward that. Roughly about 90% of all the people below our borders are in that situation. And this is so obvious, this thing going on in Nicaragua, as to what it is and where its source lies, that for you to do what you have done, I don't have the words to express my appreciation. I understand that we have more. Mr. President, that of course is, how, is taken from the title of John Francois Bell's book, How Democracies Perish. He was going to be here, and he's, I guess, on a flight, and maybe he's at National Airport or Dulles. <laughs> but he's not here, unfortunately, and so three gentlemen, Malcolm Fraser of Australia, Louis Van Hassel of Germany, former defense minister. He's down here with a familiar name, Winston Churchill. I'd like to present you with a, uh, with a petition, a copy of the position that they sent up to the Congress of the United States. I'm sorry about Mr. Rubel. I stole that line, <laughs> plagiarized it, thinking he'd be here. <laughs> well, that's what I said. President, 
On behalf of all the signatories, I have great pleasure in handing this uh, petition to you, and uh, we hope that that support can end in the right result in the right way through your Congress. Well, I can't tell you how grateful I am, and I have a whole.
issue is as clear, clear cut as that. I know that they have got one of the biggest disinformation programs going in the country we've ever seen. And we brought up this plan, this idea, uh, to refute the thought that we're somehow sneaking around here hoping for a military overthrow of the government. All we're asking is a restoration of the revolution that overthrew Somoza. And on the Contra side, our people and leaders who participated in that revolution, uh, men who were imprisoned by the Sandinistas, who got in and just did what Cuba, what Castro did in Cuba many years ago, and that was had a revolution and then double-crossed his fellow revolutionaries in order to institute what he had always intended, this kind of a totalitarian government. And we think that this plan, which was born of the fact that the Contras themselves, several weeks ago, offered to lay down their arms if the Sandinistas would negotiate with them and let them come in and try for a peaceful reconciliation and a restoration of the aims of the revolution, which were given to the Organization of American States during the revolution, appealing for them to persuade Somoza to step down, which he did. And on that basis, the Sandinista government refused their offer. And we picked it up. And we've gotten the leadership of the Contadores. We've gotten the leadership of the, the presidents of the neighboring countries. Uh, all of them, Duarte said this is the right idea at the 